Flash flooding on the North Shore causing headaches for drivers. Some just abandoned their cars after getting stuck in waist-high water. At one point after this morning's torrential downpours, the Linway was underwater. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken McLeod. And I'm Katie Brace. There were several calls to rescue folks trapped by those floodwaters. WBZ's Paul Burton has a story tonight at 8. A powerful, hard-driving rainstorm pummeled the North Shore early Saturday morning, causing serious flash floods. The city of Lynn was one of the hardest-hit areas. Wow. So it's probably, right now, three and a half feet deep. The storm right turned Michael wow. Camus' backyard and basement into a pond. Uh, it's frustrating. If you're prepared, had it happened before, I have four pumps. I started out with one, didn't keep up, went to two. Then went to three, got it under control. Charlene Bucknam's home is surrounded by water, so she's remaining on the porch for now. The cellar got all flooded down there. It's just a mess. The flash floods cause a lot of traffic delays and many cars getting stuck, like the one you see behind me, because they think they can make it through, only end up getting towed. The water everywhere. Dolores Springthorpe decided to risk it all, only to stall out moments later. So I started going nice and slow. And here I am stuck. It was pretty deep there, wasn't it? I don't know. How deep. <laughs> it was I very didn't know deep. It was that deep. <laughs> Julio Baez spent much of the day trying to get his Lexus out on Bennett Street. Too much water. When he tried to drive over here, the car stuck right in the street. You you start it and you think you're gonna be fine, and then it's just like boom. Now you're stuck. By Saturday afternoon, the cleanup was well underway. Many businesses, like Advance Auto Repair, had to sweep out a lot of water. It was terrible. It was over the doors. Fortunately, there were no reported injuries, just a lot of cleanup. The worst part is all the debris came this way. When this receipts and goes down, it's going to be in my backyard. Wow. Got to be a lot of cleaning up. In Lynn, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.